everybody, we are ready to imagine it, almost ready. I gotta put these on because we're inside the think tank with the chief scientist at the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson, and when he has these on, yeah, I know they're stooge protectors, That's right. but also <laughs> for whatever you have cooked up here. What is this? We're going to talk about combustion. It's uh, one of the topics we talk about every day in our combustion demonstration. And I thought I would talk about combustion of really fine powders. It's something that if you're working in a grain elevator, it's something to really be aware of. Yeah. Um, so I have some fine powder in this container. If I put a little on this tray and try to light it up with a, with a lighter, you know, it kind of toasts, but it doesn't really vigorously combust. If you contrast that with if I spray it in the air, now what I've done is I've increased the surface area, the amount of oxygen that can wrap around the powder, and if we spray it into a flame, wow, right? So combusts very, very rapidly. Yeah. So I've actually I made up a little gizmo here for you, for you to, to try this yourself. Um, it's just a tube and a lighter, and what you're <laughs> going to do is you're going to turn the lighter on. Oh, no. And then... Don't inhale, <laughs> only blow, okay? Okay. Here, you, you grab that, I'll hold this, <clears throat> and we'll, uh, all right, let's see. Uh, now, how, Just how one good vigorous, <laughs> okay. Yeah, you want, short What burst. we're gonna do is we're gonna blow that powder out. Let's see okay. if it works, here we go. Okay, try that, we'll get it one more time. Yeah, no, all right. it all went past it. It all went right out. You all know, right. that That's short burst. I have a lot of lung capacity, because I'm in the band, so. Is that, is that what the answer was, Tony? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, here. <laughs> Let's try one more time. Is this going to catch fire around us now? <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not going to. <laughs> Maybe a little bit slower this time. There we go. Yeah. That is okay. cool. So, the, I mean, that's all kind of fun and whatnot, but the real danger is if you had a grain elevator with that powder and it was sealed up, okay, like a container that's sealed. So, I've got a paint can here. I've got a squeeze bottle. Inside, there's a little funnel with some powder in there. It's the same super fine powder. Mm. What we're going to do is we're going to create uh, a situation where we have a sparkler burning inside. That'll be our ignition source. Okay. Our fuel is going to be that stuff, and we're going to seal it up inside the can. So your job is going to be to drop this sparkler into the can. Go does ahead. It, does it matter in which direction? Oh, face down. Well, you're going to drop it in, then you're going to squeeze this bottle. Okay. So anyway, just drop it in as long as it gets inside there. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to seal this up. Squeeze the bottle. And he stands yeah. back. Squeeze it. <laughs> All good in the kitchen. Okay. It's okay, Mom. So <laughs> what happened there was the same thing as when we were squirting the, the mist, but in this case, we heated up the gas inside the air inside. As the gas expanded, it blows the lid right off the top. I saw that. Should we try it one more time? Sure. <laughs> okay, so here, I'll light you up with this. There you go. Okay. There's thing. Let me get ready here. Sparkler in. Sparkler in. Ooh, okay. Yeah, don't squeeze that. Well, it. Mm. Okay. And give it a good squeeze. Three, two. Ah. Mm. We didn't get quite enough of that gas heating up inside there. That's okay. Okay. I've actually got some high speed footage of this. If we can play this footage, it's really quite interesting to see what happens. As the. Uh, so we did a quick version here, and here's a slower version. The flames inside even begin to propagate into the dust that was above. Like you're concerned earlier about how we had all this dust around us, could yeah. it catch on fire? Well, it could um, if we had just the right conditions. So one of the things that you really need to be careful with if you are working with very fine powders, you're sanding things next to sparking motors and things like that, be really dangerous because a, a very fine powder can combust very rapidly. Right. And even as you mentioned in a grain elevator, there could be static electricity. Too. Static electricity, anything could happen. Even right. a tool dropping and hitting the ground could cause a spark. There you go. It's fun to see, but dangerous and interesting. So we've learned something here this morning. And if you want to learn more, you can come on down to the Imagination Station. They're open on Saturdays at 10 o'clock. And if you bring a kid who lives in Lucas County, only on Saturday, that kid gets in free with a paid adult admission. Thanks very much, Carl. Sure. We're going to send you out with a little flamish. That's how you imagine it.